No, okay, live video. Welcome to Granite Farms where we are still laying fences. I'm out here today on my own, but my husband did help me get started on the corner post, which is a little bit harder than the T post were <clears throat> because it required this. Oh, I'm gonna show you. Post hole digger. This is a lot of fun. I didn't want to be the only one doing it because it is hard work, so he helped me a little bit. However, I dug the hole today on my own. I'm going to show you what we did. We used this really awesome concrete called Fast Setting Concrete Mix by S-A-K-R-E-T-E. -E. And I got the 50 pound bag because I couldn't carry any other size. Oh, hold on. Got another. These corner posts are so important because they'll take the weight of the brunt of whatever's going to happen on the fence. So we're going to make sure to brace them correctly but we've never done it before so take it or leave it as always however step one you we know we measured it out step two is digging your hole which I've done now now we have low battery so we'll see how fast we can do this video okay so we've measured Great. two foot on a piece of wood so we can see that it fits in the hole I'll show you my hole do, 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 do. Can't see my hole. So we're measuring it. And that is about right. I might need to dig one more little time. So I'm going to take the camera all the way down so you can see the hole. And hopefully, here's a picture of the concrete we used. It sets in 30 minutes. Super easy. I'm going to show you how I pour it in, how a girl can do it. So if I can do it, you can do it. Pay attention to my paint-stained pants. Hey, we're doing what we can here. I think I just need one more dig. I'll show you how I put my weight on it. Hey, honey, you leaving? Bye, I love you. Thank you. And then I'm saving the dirt because I have a few holes I want to fill. So. Two more digs, and then we got the post. Got a nice bucket of dirt here. Hey, why don't you come hold this for a minute? Okay. Forgot about the important part of having someone else hold it so it stays up straight. That does set kind of well. Oh yeah. Very nice. It's the right size. All right. You're also supposed to put some gravel down in the hole but because we're on granite farms look what we have all over the place little blocks of granite uh, stick that down in there in the hole we dug yesterday we found some uh, salamander so that was fun however today I only found a grub and some roots and the roots weren't actually too hard to break I will say the best advice we could give is to do this on a day after it rains when the ground's nice and soft especially if you're in a drier part of the states like Oklahoma. <laughs> I couldn't imagine trying to do this anywhere else. Okay, so Matteo is gonna come help. Mm -hmm. Put the post in for me. Oh. While I pour in the water. Oh. Got enough water here. Okay, so. Is that deep enough? Yeah, I measure. Okay, cool. See, he's checking on me. So the instructions on the bag is what we're gonna follow, which say, Fill the hole with one third, ooh, one third of the way with water. And then you just fill it with the concrete. I don't get any on my fingers. Just open it up. And let it go down in there. And if you have a little bit of dry on top, that's okay. In a minute, I'll show you what some of the dry ones look like. Done. For us, it's been taking um, almost the whole bag, maybe you have three quarters of a bag, you know, to get it filled. And this one, there's some water left on top, which is okay. If you have water left, it tells you to let the water drain. I'm pretty sure it's kind of scary. You, you kind of don't have the right shoes on for this, huh? No. You don't want to punch it on your toes. 
I'm going to church later, so hey. Oh, these, you know, these aren't even church shoes. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you're done. You can edit that out. All right. I can't. You're live. Bye. Thank you. All right. So, see that little, can you see the little puddle of water there a little bit, what we're dealing with? So, that's not too bad. We can leave that, but now I've got it so much up here on top that I need to make that wet. You don't want anything to stay dry. So, I'm just going to pour a little more water around the top. Oops, and it did rain here today, and I'm hoping that it won't rain for 30 minutes because this will take 30 minutes to set. Whoops, too much water, too much water. If you get too much water, you don't, don't want it. You can flick it off or you can make a place for it to run off. I really don't want concrete in the yard either. Go away, water. Oh, yeah, that flicking is really working. All I'm doing is digging a hole. Right. You don't have to do this, but. I'm gonna level it out a little bit. I kind of, I don't want concrete all over the yard. I just use the same stick I used earlier for that. Okay, let's look at a couple of these that are already done. First of all, look at all that beautiful dirt. I have to fill in the hole that the gophers made. Woohoo! Not gophers, groundhogs. So the next video we'll talk about getting rid of the groundhogs so an animal doesn't step in their six inch wide hole and break a leg. Okay, so this one it's nice and dry and you can see the rocks on top is from the the concrete mixture already but <clears throat> the posts are in there tight we're saving money of course we talk about being frugal farmers so we're saving money because there was already posts on the land that we had so we're using the posts from the land and um, the concrete wasn't that much I got the cheapest bags I could afford how much concrete do you need it's about two-thirds of a bag per post if you're doing a two-foot hole and we're doing a two-foot hole and oh, I don't remember how much they were per bag sorry but I know I didn't pay more than fifty dollars and that was what we were planning to do one two three corners with that so there's three posts with every corner so I'll back up and show you what we got here you can see we're we're also gonna have a doorway there so where my coats hanging um, so we needed the three corner pieces and then because of the way we made it it's gonna go three more corners down so I found today I was wondering how am I gonna get this wire fencing to stay on here I don't really want to use more wire to put it on because that <clears throat> it'll slide that way and we have don't want things getting under the fence so and I don't really want to use the staples that you hammer in it's spring but yeah our tree isn't blooming do you see that lovely so I don't really want to use staples because those are hard to hold and hammer and I didn't want to have to use something that you need the air compressor for it's just a lot to lug around even though we could so I found these really cool things from Davos I think in Australia mate that I'm gonna see if I can get in a, be in the next video I'm excited about them they are a version of a of a U that you put on the wire and then you can screw them in so I'm excited to try that nice rainy day here on granite farm so hopefully we will have very soon some animal footage coming for you mr. white our sheep was set to get sheared this coming weekend and then it'll be May before we know it and we got to pick him up so we've got to get some fence in and somewhere for him to stay and in other news we have all these stumps we have yet to do anything with and we thought there'd be maybe you know five six twelve but there's 40 or so probably stumps so uh, that'll be another fun video what have you guys been up to leave your comments below and we'll see you next time on granite farms where you could do more for less right now